Oh, got to keep these on. Look at that, right in the way. Damn it, don't like it. Remember, Max, offence is taken, never given. Today, I am going to show you how to install a washing machine waste and also the little pipe that goes out to it, but we're going to be doing it at this lovely science place. All right, and they've asked that I wear a lab coat, so let's put this lab coat on now. You're going to find out exactly how to do this yourself. Hold tight. Right, so science is around us everywhere. People are sciencing. Uh, and a lot of the time, uh, you need to know in the world of science how to get rid of water. Funny enough, oh, got to keep these on. Safe style, links below. What we need to do is we're going to be installing a downpipe roughly here, and that's going to be taking these waste outlets from this effectively very, very big dishwasher here. So the good thing about this job, what I want to sort of show you is the fact that we can see everything quite easily. So when you come to put in a downpipe or a standpipe for your washing machine yourself, you'll be able to see it very easily from our perspective. And then when you get under the utter torrid hell of your own sink, you'll be able to go, oh, I wish I'd done it where he did it. It was a lot easier. Um, we've also got a cold feed just down there. We're going to be teeing out of that so we can get this little T section in just down there like so. So hopefully along the way, you'll learn how to do this yourself. Without further ado, let's get on with it. I've got new boots with zippy sides made from the cleanest Aussie cow hides. Elwood workwear, absolutely great. Understanding the downpipe, this is the most main bit. So we've got a little downpipe here. These are very, very simple, but some people might never have seen one before. So let's just understand it together. So what the job of the downpipe is to do is to take the waste of our washing machines or our dishwashers, or in this case, a scientific um, molecular bum washer and safely get rid of that. But also whilst doing that, not allowing the smells coming up from the drain. So the drain's on this side, the trap is here full of water, smell can't get out. And then we've got a nice big downpipe there for that all to go in. But a lot of the work with this sort of thing you can actually do out and away from the actual work area, which in this case is probably gonna be handy because they're in there doing science at the moment. Oh. Safety glasses, innit? Right, so in the case of this video, the first thing I want to do is get cut into this pipe here at a level where, well, we can, we're probably gonna get in the way of this valve a little bit. I might take the valve cover off that and change it so it's the other way up. But we're going to cut roughly here and then we're going to bring our pipe up slightly and then we're going to elbow across here. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I get me caught in round place. I'm going to use these little ox cutters here. These are really handy and if you're a DIY, probably a good idea to get these. Or if you're a full-on plumber, you probably already got these in your box. Uh, you can get them on the Amazon store that we've got, links below. But yeah, you can get that round the pipe and then just cut it like a pipe slice. Very simple. Not, usually a lot easier when it's not being stopped from moving. Look at that, it's cut that already. Lovely tool. Look at that, right in the way. <laughs> Typical. I just want to now, I see that we've got this mark here, that mark there. So we're just going to pop a little marky just there. And then we know exactly how much pipe to cut off. The old favourite, a little bit of PVA cement. This stuff is great. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm going to say about it. I understand that this is going to get in the way of that, that and that, but sometimes you've just got to do what you've got to do. So now, good idea to do, right? Get yourself a laser level if you've got one. Please, please magnetise to that. No, of course you won't. Damn it. It's a good way of knowing, right, if you can get your laser level on like so, you can then see that we've got a level for that wall over there in a minute. That valve is right in the way, mate. So annoying. <laughs> we are just going to try to get our crossways pipe along there, all right? Little tip for you when you're going across to a wall, it's a good idea to get your pipe with the elbow on it already glued on, right? Glue that on there like that. Now, I always run my finger around just to give it, make it a little bit cleaner and then I wipe my finger on a little bit of paper. We want to cut this here, so it's a good idea just to get a clip. I know this is exactly the right, but it will give us a rough idea for our standoff off the wall. So what you can do is you can go in, get it so our clip is just about pushed on the wall there, and then you know exactly how much to cut off back here. Nice and easy, yeah? <laughs> there you go, put some goo on there. Goo! 
Go on, twist, keep twisting. Must be something magnetic. It's all stainless. Plastic. That's too low. I'm going to cry in a minute, mate. <sighs> Max. Never ever give up in life. Right, just going to bring that down level wise. Lovely, right. So the reason, obviously this is horizontal, the line that we've pulled across there, but the reason I've got that is because I know that I want my end bit of pipe to be higher than the horizontal line, don't I? So then I know that everything's gonna run down out of the way. Right, so we wanna ping this. Just know exactly how much pipe we need. Uh, 65 inches. Yeah, we're gonna go back in time to when we used inches. Good old days of turning up to a job on a cart horse, getting paid in ringlets. Remember, Max, offences taken, never given. So one thing I would say is if you're doing this sort of thing, just clips, extra clips. Yeah, we probably don't need to put three clips along here, but I'm gonna, it's good to do. We've got a nice little drop on there as well. We know that because we know we'd not have a drop if that was level there. But we've got a nice little drop here like that. I am gonna pop this down a little bit. Just gonna get that on there. And then we're probably gonna pop another one just on here like so. We're just gonna mock this up. Mocking up is always important making sure that everything goes all white. Make sure the conical bit on here is the bit that goes inside there. And then always make sure, don't throw the washer away. Always use the washer. It allows the nut to slip on the back of that rubber. So because of that, I'm just gonna put this a little bit higher up now, probably to about there. So the mortar's a little bit weak. I just drilled that one there, I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna go into a bit work. A bit, yes. Right, I'm gonna cut this off just top of this. Right, so these rubberized ends you use for when you're going onto spigots underneath kitchen sinks. Don't need them on there. And also, I need to fit these in somehow. Best way you can do these, just get them in and force them in. If you want, you can screw those into a wall, but these are not going anywhere, believe me. Right, so now all we need to do is tee in a nice little washing machine connector, just like this one here. And we're gonna pop that probably just about there, okay? So first thing you need to do is turn the water off. I'm trying to figure out a way I can just drain some of this water out because there is a fair bit of it in it. We're just taking that off because we need to drain the water out of this um, pipe here because you cannot solder on pipes that have got water in them. <sighs> I'm gonna get water everywhere and I know it. Right, I'm gonna get me bucket. Before I do this as well, there's loads of outtakes from this video and all the others that we've done that only members can get. So sign up today on our members. You can do it by clicking on the link below within YouTube. It costs about four or five pound a month. You get access to all of our back end stuff. Also, you'll be able to flex your emoji badges and all the rest of it. And coming up very soon, you'll also have access to our live show in person. Live studio audience, how about that? Okay, this is gonna be annoying. Right, we're just taking this off because we wanna let as much water out of the pipe as we can. Just make sure we don't use that rubber o-ring there if you ever have a plumber come around your house as well and you go ah i've got all these old towels that i don't want then your plumber is going to want all of them because they're just so handy right okay so we're just going to cut into here there will be a bit of water here usually just you know get yourself a bit of towel around if you can just to prevent as much mess as you can but water is a part of life when you're plumbing i'm just going to cut this little little segment out and the segment i'm cutting out is the width of a pipe so we can tee in there nice and easily look at that brand new virgin fluctuator oh mate these are so good what do you think the chance of this leaking are max yeah ain't gonna leak okay i was heat up in the bottom and if it goes from the top you know it's run to the bottom and it goes so plumber parts viewers it's the weekend you're obviously watching a bit of plumber parts because that's when this video has gone out and you got a notification because you've hit the notification and the bell and you subscribed, haven't you? Yeah, well done. 
ignore your wife. Just generally, no, don't do that. There's gonna be a lot coming up on the channel. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Honestly, one of the, we're developing one of the best things ever, aren't we, Max? We are. It's gonna be great, really good. So honestly, don't miss out on it. But if you wanna know what it is, maybe you should become a member of the channel. Jointed compound. When have I never used it, Max? Hey, you've never seen me not use jointed compound. And people go, oh, we, I, I've, I've been planning for 40 years and I've never had a leak. And I've never used jointed compound. Oh, good for you. I almost turned the water back on there and it would have been a catastrophe because I haven't plugged this bit back in yet. This is proper plumbing here, someone's done. I did that bit. <laughs> there we go, pressurised. I want this popped on here, little baby rubber on there. Just a little baby nip nip. And there you go, that's on. All the tools that I use in this video you can buy online. And if you like this video, click on this one here. It's gonna be sexy. And if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, honestly, you're like the person who walks into the pub first and holds the door open for everyone. Don't be that person, hit the sub. <laughs>